Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Zalex and today we're going to be going over Maria, the girl from Final Fantasy 2? <laughs> I'm not really sure who she is. Uh, again, I, you guys will always hear me be saying or hear me saying this in, uh, in a lot of these videos because I don't really, I haven't really played any of the old school Final Fantasy games. So I don't really know who she is as a person. However, I do know that she is a friend of Furion's. Uh, because it said so in her description <laughs> but other than that I really don't know what she does I'm not really sure what role she plays so let's go ahead and jump on into what she does and what she is so according to what it says here on the uh, on the database here Maria is a ranged attacker slash healer which is interesting it sounds like she's gonna be playing a similar role to Eiko in a way because that is kind of what Eiko is as well however she uses a bow similar to um, similar to uh, Sarah so um, let's go ahead and look at her her uh, her stat tape or chart I should say uh, so she has a three star attack nothing too nothing too uh, amazing there although I'm wondering if that's uh, we've seen a lot of strong attackers come from uh, from low base attack so we'll have to see how that how that works out with uh, with her abilities and stuff she has a four star HP which is not bad um, uh, for for a healer, you would like the, the we'd like to have the the healers having a lot of HP so that they don't end up dying on us, you know, throughout these encounters as well. Um, but she has a pitiful defense at two star, which is you know it's it's okay. I mean, you can't really have the best of both worlds, you know, if you can't really be an attacker and hope for a lot of defense. Um, she has a four star max bravery, a four star speed, and a four star initial bravery as well. Now her stats really seem to be very, very well rounded. That's the first thing that comes to to uh, to mind when I see her 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 chart here. Um, she has a little bit of everything, so she's she's really well balanced there as far as a healer slashed uh, ranged attacker goes. Um, and her stats table, her her H, her HP uh, is pretty is fairly high. Her initial bravery is also fairly high. It's it's you know one of the higher ones we've seen uh her max bravery is actually fair very very high actually uh her attack is pretty average and her defense is also uh very low <laughs> not i was gonna say it was average but no it's very low actually so anyways with that uh with, with that taken care of let's go ahead and jump into her command abilities and see what she can do here so her first ability is called true shot a one hit arrow bravery attack with low action delay um What's very interesting about Maria that I noticed when when I, when I was playing the other day when they brought up the whole uh, when they always show the preview of the character and whatnot, um, she actually has a lot of uses on her abilities. You know, it's she which is surprising for 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 new, these newer characters. From what I've seen, from what we've seen so far, that you know newer characters that have been coming out, they haven't really been coming out with a with very many max uses. It kind of just seems like as time goes on, the '60s era come out, that's when they start to get more uses. But She's uh, Maria is one of the, the few units that or characters that we've seen that has a lot of base uses on her abilities, but um, it's interesting. As an attacker, she has a an uh, an arrow based attack, which we don't really see too often. Um, and uh, the fact that she's also ranged means that it's gonna do like double damage to flyers. So that's that's really really good. Um, she has uh, arrow rain, which is a one hit AOE bravery plus HP attack. HP damage is divided equally amongst targets. Heals all party members based on HP damage dealt up to 5% of their max HP. Now, like, realistically, that does not seem like a lot. I mean, I'm just saying um, the, the one hit bravery uh, a, bravery plus HP attack is, is not bad. It's, it's For a healer, that's also that's really, really good. We don't really see, well, we haven't seen a healer yet that has a bravery plus HP attack. So that's that's really good. Um but what's what's uh, what's glaring to me here is like it's only saying five percent of the damage dealt up to or five percent of their max HP as healing dealt to the party. That doesn't seem like very much, but I'm wondering how that actually how that will actually look. You know what I mean? Like because I mean, like you know you're looking at a character like let's just, let's just look at a, a normal character like Titus. On average, Titus will probably have like maybe like five thousand HP, five thousand HP or so. I mean. You know, five percent of that is like only five hundred or something like that, or, or so. so. It's like you know, you know, they're not really getting too much. You know, they're not really getting that that much HP from this. But um, 
I'm, I'm curious to see if there if she has anything that will actually increase that. I'm sure she has a 35 CP or one of her weapons will probably increase that number. So let's continue on here. So she gets a bravery plus attack. Um, it is a one hit bravery attack. Raises all party members bravery based on attack. Lasts for six turns after using arrow rain requires strength level 60 passive ability okay so i for I, for a second there i was actually uh, assuming that it was going to be a part of like her weapon or something like that but unfortunately this is a, a 60 a 60s era only pass or uh, uh, ability and then she also gets explosive bow which i'm assuming yes it is our ex ability it is a 3 hit bravery plus HP attack, deals 50% splash damage to other targets, inflicts explosion for 5 turns, explosion steals a certain amount of bravery at the end of the turn, requires dark bows passive. Now, right off the, like, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at this and she actually doesn't seem too bad in the 60s era. I mean, judging by her ability here, she basically becomes a bravery battery as well as being a healer, which, you know, is also very, very good. And I'm assuming, you know, she has a fairly average base attack. So, I mean, she's going to be giving back a good return on Bravery no matter what. Um, as far as her ES weapon goes, her ES weapon seems to be pretty good. I mean, she has uh, another Bravery plus HP attack. 50% splash, you know, you can't go wrong there. Um, and then, you know, she also steals Bravery at the end of the turn uh, because of the debuff. I'm assuming it's a debuff. But, um, yeah, she doesn't seem to be too bad. However, uh you know, on release here in global, it doesn't seem like she's going to be too, too strong. However, we'll have to see what she actually looks like when, uh, when we look at the video, uh, when we react to the video that, uh, of her, of her trailer. But anyways, let's look at her passives here. So her first passive here is true shot light slightly reduces the action delay after using true shot break speed up slightly raises speed for one turn after breaking an enemy attack proficiency slightly raises attack up to 10 times after every bravery attack whoa okay <laughs> okay this might explain why she has a low base uh, attack here this seems kind of uh this seems kind of strong here i'm not really sure how how that's gonna work but um with the, with the 60 passives i can definitely see how that becomes extremely strong because you know she gets more attack she gets she's gonna be giving more bravery back to the team so after every bravery attack it's gonna be multiplicative or multiplying her 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 bravery regen to the team so it's, it's gonna be crazy um arrow rain power up slightly raises uh bravery damage dealt by arrow rain receive heal up slightly raises hp recovered true shot power up slightly raises bravery damage dealt by true shot Break boost slightly raises max bravery, but uh, for one turn after breaking the enemy, arrow rain charge increases the max uses of arrow rain by one, and then finally her level 50 passive uh, for global here is the rebel army. Upon recovering HP, if the eight if the healing amount exceeds max HP, the excess is converted to bravery. The bravery value granted is limited to 100 150 percent of initial bravery. That's actually really really good. Considering the fact that we don't really take that much damage from enemies anyways, unless there's a, uh, unless you're facing something like the Marlboro that we faced in Kuja's event, where it's just like, you know, you kind of just expected to do an AOE bravery attack uh, plus HP attack. Like, you know, you're, not, you're really not going to be taking too much HP damage. So this is actually going to be really, really good. Um, beyond that, uh, her 60, her 60 era passives, let's see what they do. So she gets a buff attack and boost up, which as I've stated in many, many videos before, seems like many, many characters get this. Moderately raises uh, max bravery and attack while above that. You know, it's, it's really, really good. As an attacker, I mean, she's she's a, a healer plus attacker, so this is only going to be uh, beneficial for her. Because, like, you know, she gets the best of both worlds. Not only does she get max bravery, but she also gets a lot of attack. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to increase the amount of... Uh, of regen and you know uh, bravery bat return to the team so it's going to be really really good true shot extend increases true shots number of hits to three moderately raises its total potency raises all party members bravery based on max bravery extends the duration of max bravery up and bravery regen by two turns triggers an hp attack when bravery is above 80 percent max bravery that actually seems like it's a very very strong passive like there's a lot of stuff going on there so first of all she gets three attacks added to the uh or well increases the it, she it increases it to three hits so she's basically getting an extra two shots i'm assuming um 
moderately raises its total potency, so it's going to be doing more damage. And then she also raises the... So she gets another battery ability. Uh, raises all party members' bravery based on max bravery. So here we see the the crystal level 54 passive coming into play again. That that moderate raise to, to max bravery is going to be a lot more prevalent uh, with this passive, especially uh, because of the fact that it's, you know, you're getting... You're getting more bravery regen because your your max bravery is higher, and we saw earlier in the in this video that her max bravery is pretty pretty high. So her base max bravery, anyways. So this is actually going to be really really strong. It's buff boost and speed all slightly raises all party members max bravery and speed while buffed. Now that's not too bad. What I what I like about this is also that it raises everybody. It's not just uh, it's not just her own buffs. You know what I mean? It's not it's not just her getting these uh these invisible buffs. She's actually buffing the entire team. So this is actually going to be really really strong um especially for slower characters who don't really get too many speed passives. Um like uh like Orin for example. Orin is very slow. So having her on the team would probably be very beneficial for him on top of the fact that she that she gives him max bravery as well. I'm just that, I mean there's many more there's many other characters um, that I could mention, but Orin is the first one that came to mind as like a slow attacker. So, uh, and finally, she gets Arrow Rain Extend. Increases Arrow Rain's number of hits to two. Moderately raises its total potency. Slightly raises the amount of HP recovered. Slightly raises the HP recovery limit. Extends the duration of attack up by three turns. Grants small physical attack up to all party members for six turns. Turns bravery attack to bravery attack plus for six turns after using Arrow Rain. And Bravery Attack Plus is a one-hit Bravery Attack that raises all party members' bravery based on attack. Her level 60 is basically what makes her... I'm not, from what I read there, it's basically what makes her, her 60s era worth everything there. So overall, all of her buffs in the 60s era seem to be what make her uh, shine especially, especially well. She seems to be a very, very strong character in the 60s era, judging by what I see here. All of her, her extend abilities are... You know they just boost everything by so much um I, I don't i would like to know how much the amount of hp recovered is but you know i'm assuming that it probably goes up by like maybe 10 percent I, I would assume like but then again it's, it's only slightly so maybe it goes from like five percent to ten percent i don't know but um i'd have to i'd have to uh search up a uh uh, uh mino spell good guide to show to get those percentages because it's it's very hard to find those percentages um without uh, actually looking to, uh, without actually looking for for those reddit posters to, to to show that information so anyways that takes care of her passive abilities so let's move on to her gear so first off we see her dark bow which is her ex weapon that, that we've seen that we saw the uh, ability of earlier the explosive bow so basically that'll just you know steal bravery and you know do damage aoe damage and whatnot um, she gets Yoichi's Bow, increases the potency of Arrow Rain, raises its HP recovery limit, and lowers its action delay. So again, we see that the, that the HP recovery limit is increased yet again. So I'm, I'm, again, I'm wondering how much it actually recovers by. I'm not too sure how much, but I'm assuming it's going to be by a decent amount. It's because, you know, it, it's, it, it was kind of too low. The base number is actually like really too low, so I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be by a decent amount. Maybe like up to 15% overall, but we'll have to see. Um, raises inflicted bravery damage when there is only one target, uh, which is actually really good because it's, I think, I believe that this was an AOE ability. I believe, I believe Arrow Rain, yes. Arrow Rain was the AOE ability. So this is actually really good. So she'll, she'll have a single target potency as well as AOE. So that's, uh, that's actually really good there. And then it also grants small attack up three, for, uh, small attack up three, small attack up for three turns to all party members, which is, it's okay, but you know, we have characters like Saz, so it, it, that, that kind of buff is not really relevant anymore and then her 15 cp is the mithril bow increases the potency of true shot and lowers its action delay grants small max bravery up and bravery regen for three turns uh that's not too bad i mean it's uh i i like the the the, the, uh, the two small buffs that it gives there i mean again we have size so the small max bravery up isn't going to be as prevalent but the bravery regen is always welcome um you just have to be careful of who you run on the team like if you're running a size with her you probably have to be careful about characters who use or who have uh, framed pass or framed buffs that are for themselves, like lightning. Lightning can't run with uh, with many buffers because of that, you know, the the bordered buffs that she gives to herself. So you have to be really careful with that. Um, and then her final, or well, not her final. Her 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 last piece of gear here is her armor, the Hermes shoes, which give her HP plus 680 and a max bravery plus 220, which is not too bad for a healer. Those are stats that are very very good. Um, but overall, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, let's move on to her artifacts here. 
Oh, okay. So she gets HP damage guard, raises defense power by 10% after taking HP damage, and 20% with the two-star version. Again, I don't really see us taking too much damage unless you're actually doing an event like Kuja's where the enemy like has this like bravery plus HP attack. You, you, won't, re you won't be really taking too much HP damage um, unless you're doing lost chapters or something like that. But this this won't be prevalent. This won't be uh, this won't be something that you want to go for um, too often, if at all. I, I I mean I wouldn't go for this. So. <laughs> Uh, break boost raises max bravery by 2% for one turn after breaking an enemy and 5% with a two-star version uh, That's not bad. You know, I run this on a few characters. It's it's not that bad the, the, the amount of bravery you get um, for breaking is not too bad. It's honestly not uh, True shot power up raises bravery damage dealt by true shot by 5% with one star and 10% with the two-star version Always good more damage is always good And then of course arrow rain power up raises bravery damage dealt by arrow rain by 5% and 10% with the two-star version. Of course, uh, those are those are very, those are very good uh, artifact passes right there, because you know she's she's an attacker, but she's a, she's also a healer. So having that extra damage there is only gonna make you, at least for the arrow rain, it's only gonna make you heal more, um, because you know her healing is based off of how much damage uh, is dealt. So the more damage you do with your ability with your with your arrow rain, the more the better that ability is actually gonna be. Now, as far as True Shot goes, I'm not too sure how how uh, True Shot is actually ranked. Uh, if I had to say so, I don't. I mean, it, it it's kind of I, I guess it's up to you as the as a player to uh, to make that call. Um, for, at least for me, I I think what I'd probably run is a uh, is probably like 108 attack. Uh, so max bravery, obviously for for when her 60 era comes around, because you're gonna want that max bravery. And then I'd probably also try and go for the arrow rain power up if you're gonna try and go for maximum healing capabilities so those are probably the three passives that i would go for the most on this character at least that's just me from what i from what i understood from everything that i read here it seems like those would be the three best passives to go for um but anyway that takes care of maria's abilities let's go on ahead and jump on over into our gotcha simulator and see what we can actually pull up today all right so here we are in the maria gotcha simulator uh, of course, here is my uh, spreadsheet. Thank you again to Chris Inger for always making these and hooking me up. And, you know, just in general, just thank you for, for, for your continued support and making and helping me make these. Um, so, uh, as always, let me just kind of explain for those of you who are new and don't really know how I do things here. So, across the top here, going to the, uh, going across the, uh, the rows here, uh, we see the characters' names. Now, the way that I'm going to be doing this is uh, there are 10 sets of data here, and in each ten, uh, in each uh, column of data, we're going to be doing an, uh, an attempt to get one of each of these uh, weapons here. And then at the end, we're going to be, uh, you know, adding all these up. Of course, Chris set it up so that it automatically adds everything all together. And then over here, we're going to add, or we're going to add the information of how many of each 15 slash 35 CP weapons we got for each of the characters on this banner overall. You know, until and we, we you have to go. Well, what I do is, I have to go until I get at least one of each weapon. Okay, so you know, let's go ahead and try this out. Of course, take this, take these drugs with a grain of salt. And I always say this in all, in all my videos. The gotcha simulator is not the most reliable source of pulling. There are errors that occur within this thing. Like, you know, you'll see like a random 35 off banner CP that's not supposed to be there. And uh, it's it's just, uh, you know, you just have to live with it. Like, I always count those as like a 15 CP that, you know, just had its image, rip, like, you know, messed up or something like that. So don't, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Don't, don't, uh... Don't try critiquing it too much. Like you know, this is the best thing we have. This is the only this is the only simulator that I that I really know of. So unless you have something better, like this is really what we have to go on based to to, to help us understand what the actual draw rates will look like for the banners. And I'm and I'm always I'm I'm always going to be appreciative to the Ultima for having this available as a source for everybody to use. But anyways, let's go ahead and continue. Or <laughs> let's go ahead and begin our draws. Not continue because we haven't even done one yet. So let's go ahead and begin here. All right, our first draw. Let's see what we get here. All right, a little delayed. All right, so right off the start, we get two off banners and one Rosa 15 CP. So what I'm going to do is, on the first draw, I'm going to add a one there. I'm going to add one to uh, to Rosa over here, and then I'm going to put two in the off banner section. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do the next one. All right, next one, we got another off banner, so let's go ahead and change that to a three. Now, I, uh, forgive me, guys, it's going to be a... Uh, this could take long, this might be quick, I'm not sure. All depends on... Uh, whoa, what did I do? What in the world? Why did I write six? I meant to write three. And I got two here, so that's going to be five. I'm not sure why I wrote six. I think that was a misclick on my part. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next one. All right, so we got another Maria 15 CP and another off banner. I guess I wrote six because that's what it was going to be anyways. So let's go ahead and continue this. Uh, so far, not looking so good for everybody's other stuff. But three more off banners. Um, I'm not really sure what is uh, what, what's going on. I mean, usually we we see these weapons dropping uh, pretty pretty often, but this one doesn't seem to be too good. We're already on the sixth draw, and we haven't seen anything so far, other than Rosa's 15 CP. So I'm not sure how reliable this is actually going to be and again this is the this is what i was saying like you know this is this is all rng um hopefully it's oh well, there we go there's uh there's rosa's 35 cp after eight after eight draws there so let's go ahead and type in a one over here and then that was the only one on this pool yep of course so it is uh it is all rng so you know you don't don't expect to get everything right away so right there we got an irvine 35 CP on the ninth pull. So let's go ahead and type in a 9 there. And then we get uh, Irvine one more over here. And Rosa got another 35 CP. So we're going to add that also into the the uh, the box there. And then we'll change this to a 12. Alright, so now now that we've finally reached a, a large amount of uh, a large amount of gems used, it seems like they're uh, they're dropping more frequently. So now all we're missing is the Echo and Irvine 15 CPs. Uh, we got another Rosa 15 CP here. So let's go ahead and add that onto there. All right, moving on. And of course, I, I'm sorry, like th th these can take a very long time, guys, uh, to finally get everything. But this is the way that I do things. I always go until I get one of everything because it just makes the data more precise. All right, so... We <laughs> We got more Rosa stuff. It seems like, or Rosa, I keep saying, have I been saying Rosa this whole time? Maria, I'm so sorry about that. I keep, I think, I, I think I've been saying Maria this whole time. Uh, or Rosa. <laughs> I, I keep, oh boy, I'm just going to, uh, I think I'm going a little delirious, guys. I don't really know what's going on there. <laughs> I think it's the off banners that are getting to me. I keep saying Maria instead of, or I keep saying Rosa instead of Maria, and I just keep getting the the two names uh, tongue twisted for some reason. I, I don't know why. I've always done this. I don't know why I call Rosa Maria, Maria Rosa. I don't. I don't know, guys. I don't know. But anyways, we got three more off banners there, and we are already at halfway to twenty. So we got two more off banners and I'm hoping it doesn't go too long because I don't like doing these for a very long period of time. But it doesn't seem like they're giving me too much options. So we finally got one Aiko 15 CP after about 16. I want to say six, yeah, 16. After 16 draws there, we finally got one Aiko 15 CP. And we got another Irvine 35 CP. So let's go ahead and throw that in there. Uh, I don't intend to go all the way up to 100 again, so I'm probably just going to add this last one here to Maria's uh, 35 CP, so put that there, and add another off banner of 53, and then we'll just say we called it at 40. Uh, I'm not going to go past 40, because la in the last video that I did for Vanille, I... I went all the way up to 100 pulls and did not see a single vanille weapon, and I'm I, like the only thing I could actually assume from that was that they did not just that they just did not put the the actual weapon in the rotation for the simulator, and um, it was very very annoying because I, I went through that many pulls and I just did not get it, and you know there's no way of really telling if it's really just RNG or if they just forgot to put the actual image 
in the uh, in the rotation for the the simulator. So I really don't know, but I'm not gonna do that again. So I'm just gonna call it there at uh, at 40 draws, and then uh, I'm just gonna cut this here, and then I will be back with you guys when I finish uh, doing the or filling out the rest of this uh, this uh, this draw these draw attempts. So I'll be right back, guys. And we have finished this chart. Now I just want to start by saying that uh, <laughs> I don't know what's been going on with these uh, these God simulators lately, but it seems like they've just been very very off. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, they they're 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 they're, they're usually going to be off, but I mean they've been off like way like way way more than before, and it seems like it's been happening with like the more recent units that we've been getting. Um, I'm not really sure why that is, but I mean that's besides the point. Anyways, let's go ahead and like go over what we got here on the chart. Uh, as I stated previously, you know, before when I started when I did the first set of pools here, I did not get Irvine's 15 CP in any of the pools that I did. So I'm just gonna assume that they just did not put it in the simulator. So I left that as a no answer, as an Echo 35 CP was not on the banner simulator, so it was just a no answer as well. So I apologize if uh, if you were actually deciding to go for Irvine's 15 CP, but um, there's no way I could t I could give you a, a some kind of uh, some kind of result for that. There's there's just I, I just couldn't. There's nothing. There's no there's no way that I can uh, can make something up here that isn't supposed to be there. So I suppose I should probably change this to an N because <laughs> it wasn't there. I mean, it's supposed to be. I, I'm just kidding. I'm just change that back to a Y. It's supposed to be there, but it's not there. So let's go ahead and look at Maria. Her uh, her 15 CP total amount of draws ended up being about 29, which isn't that bad, honestly. Um, her 35 CP was around 46, uh, skipping Irvine's 15 CP. Uh, Irvine's 35 CP ended up amounting up to 67. And now this is where I, I, I kind of want to address like this this column Echo. I kind of wanted to address this because I don't know what was going on with Echo. Um, I had very very or I had various uh, attempts where literally the pools would just go above 40, and I like so because on the first uh, set of attempts I cut the draws at 40 because I did not get Irvine's. I did the same thing for Echo's 15 CP. So just like these numbers could have easily gone way, way higher, but it just, I, I decided to cut it at 40 because anything above that, it, it just wouldn't have mattered. Like either way, like the numbers were going to get even higher, like either way, it's not going to change like the amount of draws like you would, that you would have to do. But of course, this is probably just something to do with the simulator being off. I doubt that they, like, you know, on the actual banner in on global when it's actually released, I doubt that the, that the, sim, that the, uh, that it's actually going to take that many draws to actually get a 15 CP for Echo. Of course, it's all RNG and it's possible that it could, but I, I highly, highly doubt that it's going to take that many draws to get an Echo 15 CP if that is what you're looking for off of the banner. So, but, you know, looking at Echo there, it took up to uh, 201 attempts to over, over, all set, uh, all, over all 10 sets of attempts, it took about 201 uh, pulls to, to get everything. Um, and then, uh, overall, like to get the, uh, to get Maria's 15 CP, which seemed to be the best dropping, uh, weapon on this banner, it would take about three draws to get her, her 35 CP. It was about 4.6, which is roughly about five draws. If you, uh, if you round it up and then, um, oh, three draw, And then again, for 15 CP for, for Maria's 15 CP, it'd be around three draws as well. If you round it up. Uh, for Irvine, his 35 CP was like like I said previously, it was 67, so it would be about 6.7 or seven draws roughly. And then of course, Echo was the worst one of the the bunch, and uh, it would take about 21 pulls, given how many attempts it took me to actually get or not get her weapon. Like I like I said, like I I, I literally had to cut it at 40 because it was going to turn into another vanilla situation, and I like was literally just losing my patience trying to get her 15 CP so I just decided to cut it at 40 because I did not want to do that many pulls again like and then would just waste my time like I did with uh, Vanille's. So it's kind of unfortunate that, that the uh, that the simulators just aren't working as uh, efficiently as they used to be. Um, whether or not that be just uh, just a bad banner simulator that they have but uh, it's 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 very unfortunate. I hope that, uh, that the future ones get better but uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on over to the uh, the overall drawn weapons. I got about 65 Maria 15 CPs in the in the entire in the entirety of doing all these draws. 
uh, and 46 of our 35 CPs, which isn't bad, honestly. Um, we got about 56 Irvine 35 CPs, only 10 uh, Echo, literally, like, only 10. Like, I, I, I just, like, and the, those 10, two of them didn't even come from this. Like, two or three of them came from, like, uh, from, from the other pools, like, just having, like, uh, one or two Echo extra weapons there, so... Like, t like two of the, th these two were inconclusive. Honestly, these two could have gone way, way higher. But I decided, like I said, to cut uh, cut it off at forty because I did not. Just, I, I just didn't want to go any higher than that. That just it was getting ridiculous. Um, and then I had about three hundred and thirty off banners after doing everything. It was it was a catastrophe. So what can we say about the values here? The average draw chance you have, at least from this given data that I have here. Um, it would be about a 30% chance to get Maria's if you rounded, okay? And then uh, for her 35 CP, you'd have about a 21% chance. To get Irvine's uh, uh, 35 CP, you'd have about a 25, uh, closer to 26 if you round up. 26% chance to get that. You have literally a uh, 5% chance for Echoes, and then, of course, you have a, uh, a 1.5 times chance to get a... Uh, a uh, an off banner weapon, so you're you're looking at almost two off banners per, uh, well, well, much much more than two off banners per per draw on this banner. But either way, just expect to get an off banner eventually during your pools, it, no matter what. Like all these pools, like it, it just this data, this data chart seems to be a lot more uh, more more bad compared to the to the other banner. Oops, I forgot to change this name let's go ahead and change that from Kane to Maria uh, Maria Pools. so with all that being said let's go ahead and see if we can get the average uh, draw rates here so we're looking at getting at least like you know Irvine and Maria stuff within seven draws Aiko I mean if we don't get her early on, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste too much time on that. I'm probably gonna do like ten pulls maximum. And if we don't get her within ten pulls, then I, I, I just, I, I don't know. Like it's just gonna take way too long. But anyways, let's go ahead and try this. Oh, of course, of course, she would be the first draw here. Of course. Okay, so we got Echo's 15 CP there on the first draw. Second draw, we got Mar or yeah, second draw, yeah. On the second draw, we got Maria's 15 CP. Echo 15 CP and Irvine 35 CP, so RNG is uh, is quite the uh, is being quite uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? RNG is very being quite generous right now, even though when I was doing the you know the calculations here, when I was doing everything, it was not being generous. You know, it was just being uh, it was being a pain. So. Uh, on the third draw here, we got another Irvine 35 CP and four off banners, which is something that I am used to seeing after doing everything. And of course, on the fourth draw, we get Maria's 35 CP. So uh, it looks like uh, calculations were uh, were pretty on point for this one. Of course, this is all RNG. This is not to say that it will be like this on the live on the live uh, release for global. So definitely take this with a grain of salt like do not think that this is the way that it will be um it will definitely be much much different when things go live but of course this is all just a simulator so with all this being uh, explained and talked about now let's go ahead and uh and talk and look into the reaction part of this like let's go ahead and look over her uh, her trailer video and here we are at maria's trailer video so i already have the volume turned down to a little bit under halfway so it's not blaring uh, let's go ahead and see what this is. I mean, it just by judging by how it's uh, judging by how it's not showing a, uh, a thumbnail, it's kind of just going straight to the video. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm not really sure they're gonna show some story, but either way, I don't speak Japanese before this starts, so I have no idea what they're saying. But I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. They look pretty run down. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, so she HP attack. She's dead. <laughs> what is going on? That is that is such a weird way to start the video. Okay, so I have no idea what they're talking about here. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, Therian is introducing her to the group, to the squad. Oh, hey, that was pretty cool. Oh, she actually restored a good amount of HP. Holy sh... 7,000? Okay. Alright. She's actually, uh... That was very interesting. Like, her damage, like, numbers are very high, surprisingly. Even though it's, uh, even though she's, like, a healer-type character, like, the attack factor is, like, actually really, really high. And the fact that she has an, a, another AoE, although I... D even though she does have an AoE, I wouldn't say that she is going to be a mandatory character to, to, to pull on. I'm just gonna say it. I don't think that she's worth pulling right now, guys. I don't think that she is worth it at all. Um, her abilities seem good, but I do not see her being worth the draw. Especially since we got Kuja, and Kuja literally does AoE, you know, like... He just destroys everything right now. So I just don't... I, I, even though she's a... She doesn't really see... And on top of that... She's a healer, but she doesn't really seem like a strong healer. You know what I mean? Like, that's what we have Aerith for. If you really wanted a healer, you'd bring along Aerith. Because Aerith can actually, like, pump out, like, healing, revive, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it's like, you know, I, I can't really see her. I can't really justify, like, bringing her along. Even, like, let's say I was to pull. I just can't justify bringing her along. She doesn't have any ba any kind of battery potential right now. Her healing is kind of weak. Her damage is decent. <laughs> Like, see, like, you know, uh, about 1,500 damage, and then, you know, the HP attack is spread evenly throughout both targets, but it's like... And then her arrow shot was, like, 7,700. That's a lot of damage. And then uh, her, her Bravery Plus HP attack, when it's on a single target, is uh, full damage. So it's like, you know... I don't know, it's... it's she just doesn't seem that uh, impressive at first glance, so... I, I definitely don't think that she's going to be worth pulling for at all. Um, am I impressed? Not really. I mean, her her. I think where she's really going to shine is in her 60s. From what I from what we read over in the on the database, it seems like her 60s are basically what's going to make her very very strong. Because I mean, she's she's a she's a decent healer, but it's like I just I just don't think that she's going to be very strong, and she's most likely not going to be very strong. So. That's what I think. Alright, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Maria doesn't seem like she'll be in a very good spot upon release. I mean, just by looking at her moveset and how how much damage and how efficient they are, they just don't seem to, to add up. I don't think she's going to be very... I don't think she's going to be very well off when she actually does uh, release. Even with having Saz buffs and all these other buffs like from, uh, from, from Irvine because he debuffs, you know, ranged range damage or whatever I just don't think that she's going to do very very well um, definitely like I said previously in the 60s era she will shine but I just don't see her shining right now especially with the introduction of Fuja so early on but anyways I have a lot of stuff that I have to catch up on guys and I've just been having a lot of difficulty finding time to make videos lately because of IRL things like I just I mean it'll all work out or work itself out I should say uh, soon but right now it's just been very tough for me to find time to do everything but i promise you guys that you know once this all passes i'll be uploading regularly so just bear with me on this and next up i'll hopefully get to brothers and palam i know that it's going to be very very late but please guys i'm, I'm just I'm, I'm asking you guys uh to just bear with me again uh this <laughs> the time constraints that i've had are just like it's just crazy but uh yeah, until next time, bye guys.